Hey guys, happy Monday morning if you're in the States. It's Jaeger262 and I'm back with more World of Tanks doing day four of the American Challenge. Technically day three, but we were able to play for four full days so far. And I've made it halfway through. And I underestimated two very important factors in this challenge. One is time. Like on this mission here, you just it's easy you just get 500 damage or more not hard I've done it four for four now but I didn't realize is it can't stack so I was playing games where I would get a thousand or try to get m at least 3,000 damage and I would do it and it would only count for one so you can't stack it multiple times in a battle which sucks and so that means no matter what you do you're gonna have to play at least 25 battles back to back to complete this mission and that's not hard it's just very grindy that's a lot of work I mean 25 battles can range at the most to be like 250 minutes which is kinda ridiculous it's a lot of playtime so you're gonna have to spend a couple hours doing this now what you could do is just get 500 damage suicide out get into another game and you know keep doing that but I wouldn't do that I wouldn't recommend doing that it's kinda ridiculous and the second thing I underestimated is just how good of a player I am and how good of a team player I am, which is two things, but it falls under the same category because I'm just not that great. <laughs> and I'm not that great at teamwork. So this has already taken quite a bit of time. I think it's taken a total of four or five hours to get to this point, which isn't bad. Um, that's like an hour and a half per challenge but that's still a lot of gameplay if you really love the game and you play this all the time you know then it's not as bad I'm sure but for a more casual player this is a lot I forgot what the mission marathon grinds were the only one I ever really completed was the T3485M mission and then I got 80% of the way through the Black Friday one and I just haven't done a single one since, and I know why. <laughs> They're just, it takes a lot of time. But, that being said, without further ado, I'm going to try to record some games. It'll be a little less stuttered than the first video, but I make no promises, because just to record an entire video, and Watt crashed three or four times, which completely deleted at least an hour of footage. So, I'm just going to be making short little videos and then stitching them all together and seeing if that's better. So anyway, thank you for sticking with me and we're going to get into this mission. Alright, so hop here in the IS-1, or IS, on at I'm going to try and play the one and two line. It's typically where I go in my medium tanks. I'm from the Oneida map, so my idea is that it's not mine. Probably won't, but God knows. Well, I can pen the IS-2 front to me, and we're using, we should be using the same gun. I don't know. It's one of those things, like, <laughs> I love this gun, the 122, because it's good at just doing chunks of damage, punishing low tiers. I also need to have a chance to not a fan. Okay, so it looks like nobody else came up this way except for not mean I'm going to have a good game in this. I'm just waiting for somebody to Oh my fucking god! 
Oh my fucking god! See, this is why I hate this. I had no idea. Now that Leo's gonna push up and try to hit me. Oh god. Oh my lord. This is gonna be a terrible thing. I don't know how to contain this situation. Well, I did the mission, but oh my god, oh no, now I made them mad. Please! I have so much to lose, and you have so little to lose if you just leave me alone. You know? No. These guys are killing me. Fall back. Oh shit, buddy. How the fuck am I gonna fall back? Well, I mean, we did the mission, so that's great. I wish it could count for three instead of one, but... I really hope that the nine line can push all the way. But exactly what I said I didn't want to happen, happened, and... For some reason, I just did not prepare for that. Oh, well, I'm gonna stick around for the rest of that game. I have no idea how a whole S2 could see it was part of the AM um, part of the thing I estimated. Not a good team player, not good situational awareness there. What the hell? He graduated from the Polish artillery school. Wow, I'm not reading that. And is in Serb okay, that's great. Alright. I got a blueprint fragment for the Ferdinand. It's good to know. Alright, next thing I'm going to try and play in my KV-2. Because I can't think of a better vehicle to kind of help this mission along. I mean, get 500 damage, not hard, with a vehicle that's lowest is 380, and its alpha is somewhere between 7 and 800, with a high roll of 1100. I mean, it's a monster. It's one of the most hated tanks, and I've been seeing a lot of these in games this past week. So, if I mess up, I hope my team doesn't really care too much, but I'm not really a KV2 player who plays this tank nearly enough to be using it like this. But it's been doing pretty okay. I mean, it does the mission. Damn it. My favorite map of this vehicle is to actually call the hive. These things over here and it's too slow. I won't know if I'm gonna win or lose. I'll just have to play the game and find out.
already hit him, so. This is, again, one of the least favorite maps to be playing in this tank. I mean, it's not like we really supported anybody, but we didn't even get a chance to fire one single round. Because that whole flank where I was supposed to be defending completely fell apart. Which is my fault, and none of the other heavies really did anything to protect that field. So yeah, that's, that's the other thing. Don't be a shitty player, don't have shitty teammates, because if you do, then you just can't play, you know? You obviously aren't going to be able to do the mission, so that was a complete waste of her, so, oh well. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so now I don't really know what to do, because... My IS is still in battle. Didn't think that battle was going to last that long, but I guess it's a good sign. And the KV-85, while it's one of my favorite tanks, is just not good at dealing damage to other heavies. It usually is, but today's MM has not not been in its favor. Oh, yeah, let's see. Defeat Abby. I called that one. Hoping to get top tier again, though. Hopefully, we'll win this game. Oh, that's not bad. Sort of top tier. The highest enemy. Oh, it's an STG. Oh, that's not good. The projectors, I don't care about. 46 and 44. But. All kinds of problems. Well, depending on where he plays, he doesn't have to build an armor. Fine, I don't see why he wouldn't play. He wouldn't do his vehicle strength. It's a side scrape if he wants to. I really don't want to have to load any of this yard, but I might have to. Dude, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that's expensive. Oh well, I mean, if I was a better player, I wouldn't really be worried about the STG. I've seen so few on the battlefield, and all the examples I've seen have been really combat effective. And so I don't want to face them at all. Hopefully they don't come through here. I'm guessing he's going to be playing his line. He has no reason not to. I, mean, I love my rear turret and mediums. This is where I would play them.
26 is just going out suiciding. Why is he doing that? Alright, so this game's already been called. It's a loss. But, I mean, I still gotta fight like it's not, right? Nope, the crown will retreat. T26 makes it only to... Wow. Fucking Jesus fucking Christ. I have a 100% trained crew. They can, they have a great gunner. I forget what skills she has. But Jesus Christ with the accuracy of the 122. There we go. Projectors right there. Doesn't see me. Alright, hey, that's great, you know. That's what I didn't want to see. So in Minsk, it's here. Now, I don't really know Minsk too well. I usually play on the one or two line of my mediums, but I know that it's typical of heavy signal this way, so I'm trying to follow the Tiger P and the KV3 is already been spotted heading over here, so hopefully this will be a good um a good position to play. I don't want to get spotted and or shot while I cross this huge gap here. Uh -huh. Very look okay. It's too bad. As long as I do 500 damage, I guess I don't really care. I don't want to get in the scorpion's way here. I just want to. M6 A2 E1. Uh, I love that tank. I've never played it. I've always wanted to. Just because it's so unique. So it's, for anybody that doesn't know, the mutant, which is what it was called. Well, that's a great position. How the hell am I supposed to shoot him? That's a crazy good position. Oh my gosh. Um, the Mutant was the first heavy tank in the game because it was a pre-alpha heavy starter pack tank that was never going to be sold again and then Wargaming sold it a bunch of times after that. So now you'll see them a lot more than you used to. But they're still cool. They're still a novelty. I still like seeing them on the battlefield. But they're not as uniquely rare as they were before, which is nice because at least other people who weren't just alpha testers can play the vehicle now. Alright, 
got a shot in the 45 UP. I'm trying not to use this guy as cover and be that kind of a dick, but his frontal armor is far superior to mine. So, like, do I feel that bad about it? Nah. Alright, he's moving up. I'm gonna stick with this guy. Well, not the best premium, but certainly premium that almost seems forgotten <laughs> a lot of the time. That it is a tier 8 premium. It does deal damage at this tier pretty effectively. You know, and it's got crazy frontal armor. And I keep forgetting that I'm in my IS-1 and not my IS-3. So I keep assuming I'm at tier 8 and I'm pretty good frontal armor, but I don't. Yeah, now Artie's gonna... Oh no, he had a repair kit. I don't. I'm gonna get slammed again by Artie. Now that C100 is gonna keep us pinned for a minute. For a hot minute. sounded terrible blowing into the mic like that. I apologize. But oh my gosh. Scary. Now this mutant's gonna come and try to kill me. Oh Tiger P, don't look at me. I'm already safe. Don't come over here, because he'll just slam you. God, dude, this guy's gonna get killed. I don't want to be the one to move against the mutant. It's got crazy thick frontal armor. Oh no, this is a total loss for us. I wonder if I can bait him. Nope. Do it, do it. Why is this Tiger P not doing anything? What? Oh. I can't believe you just blocked that. We're gonna get surrounded here in a minute. Ouch. Oh my god, right. He penetrates me, but I can't penetrate him. Tiny Italian median. That is such bullshit. Oh my lord. Oh my god, that was such garbage. I can't believe that. I fucking hate RNG. I mean, everybody does. Man, that just... sucks. That was an absolute waste of my time. Holy shit, that was a waste of time. What a waste of effort. I hate games like that, where no matter what happens, it's just completely wasted. I should have played better. I didn't. That's on me. I took the wrong side, man. Or I could have used the AP. I didn't even... See, you know, I'm always, like, complaining about stuff. I didn't even use my APCR. I could have penned. I didn't even... See, I just don't think about it when I'm in the game. I don't think about what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully, I won't have that problem with the KB2 in the city. I'm just gonna go straight to high explosive. And hope he 
find some something. Some something. I don't know what, just something. I wanna find some something. One of the OG map. Well, no, it's not, but it is an old map. <laughs> and it is still a very cool map. Oh no. What is it? Tier 5? My top tier? I am not, because there's tier 7, but I didn't even check. How we didn't kill that guy in one shot is so annoying, but it's because I'm using high explosive. At least there I know. I don't think I don't do very well, which I'm sure all you are witnessing. I don't choose the right shells all the time. I just kind of shoot whatever's like in my gun. I'm like, hey, that'll work. And then when it doesn't work, I'm like, flip out. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh dear. Nice. Now that other KB2 is going to come after me. Oh no. I could have reload faster. Oh man, I got distracted because I gotta do something. This is probably gonna be the last game for this video, so I'm gonna do more of the American Marathon. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this much. Throw up a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.